Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Whether you're in need of a website, domain or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Have you ever wanted to confuse people and make them think that you're taking video of them when actually you're taking really mediocre film photos? Well, look no further. This is the perfect camera for you. This is the Canon Epoca, a pretty unusual 35mm point-and-shoot film camera with a 35 to 105 zoom lens. The thing that sold me on this camera the thing that made me instantly open up eBay as soon as I became aware of its existence wasn't its insane photo quality, its lens's sharpness or amazing, unusual rendering, or the fact that it had been recently used by a mainstream celebrity and now you'd get loads of clout for posting it. No, it was this. A flip-out lens cap with a flash on it. Imagine you're at a party and in the corner of your eye you see someone approaching. They hold up what looks like a camcorder, then boom! flash flips out of the lens cap. I mean, I'd probably just go home and cry. I could never be as cool as them. Now, as cool as this is in principle, what practicality does it actually give? I guess you always have a flash with you. You can't forget it. It's attached to it. But so many point and shoots have this built in. It's not like it's reinvented the flash, you know? They normally come attached to the camera and in a smaller footprint. So I don't really know what the point is other than the fact it is kind of inherently cool. I guess it could have more power. That's something which could definitely be feasible. And maybe it spreads the flash wider. And it also could be quite a flattering way of lighting. It's very nicely positioned right next to the lens to give probably what's quite a pleasing look. Actually, how I've set up this camera right now. Hold on, I've just noticed the flash extends with the lens. This is incredible. <laughs> I've never seen something like this before. That is crazy. The camera's form factor really resembles the classic dad handy cam. No one is going to be thinking that you're taking photos with it. But I don't know if that's actually helpful or a good thing. I shot a music video this week and I took this camera with me. And when I was unpacking my bags, someone actually thought I was going to be using this as the camera for the video. That's how much it resembles video, not photo. When in reality, I just took it because I needed to finish up a roll to have it developed for this video. So, can it take photos? Yes, it can. They're not half bad. It's a more than capable camera to take good photos. The zoom range actually gives you a pretty great amount of flexibility all with one camera. However, I do have to say the more zoomed in I got, the more likely it was to miss focus. Overall, for an automatic camera, it had a pretty great hit rate. I didn't seem to lose focus much at all, but the times I did were when I was zoomed in. I have to admit, this is a slightly flawed review. I didn't test the flash anywhere near as much as I would have liked to, but I also am kind of stuck inside most of the time at the moment and not really able to mix with any other people. So I'm looking forward to using this again soon and kind of doing some portrait shoots. I think it will actually be really good, but in general, overall, judging the image quality that comes out of this thing, I say it's better than the price I paid for it. Now, I've shot with more film cameras than the average human, more than the average film photographer, more than the average film photography YouTuber, probably. And there was something which I thought was pretty unusual about this camera. And it's not the unconventional form factor and design that makes it look like the Handycam. It's not the flip-out flash. It's not the unusual top-down viewfinder. It's the way you load it. You load it from the bottom, and I haven't seen this very often, and it really caught me off guard the first time I had to load it. And uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't really make any difference, it doesn't get you more photos per roll or anything, so uh, it's not really worth talking about. Just, just thought I'd share that I thought it was unusual. So with film cameras being at kind of the peak of their resurgence at the moment, the supply and demand is getting pretty tight. All the cameras are getting super expensive and uh, kind of Subcategory, the genre of cameras which are hit the hardest by this, is point and shoots. And the most accessible, you don't need to be a photographer to use one, and people want to use them to take photos of themselves, their friends, and whatever. So to get one of the point and shoots which is claimed to be one of the best now, you're looking at an insane amount of money. It's not really a hobby price point anymore. So to get into this now at a hobby price point, to not really use it for work, you're probably looking at picking up a camera like this, one of the weirdos that's left his last pick. And to be honest, there aren't really any downsides to using this. It takes plenty fine photos. You really don't have to worry about it. Really, the only downside to it is the form factor. This isn't anywhere near as pocketable as some of the more expensive point shoes. But the photos, I mean, they're not quite as good, but they, they go a lot of the way. I mean, as an example, 
here is this camera next to the one which I use as my point and shoot. I know which one I'd rather carry around all day, but at the end of the day, this is the only camera I know that has a flash in its lens cap, so it's definitely worth a cop. And finally, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're looking to build a new website, maybe want to purchase a domain, start a blog, an online store, anything to do with websites, Squarespace is the perfect place to do so. It's super easy to use, there's a bunch of different templates to get you started, and you don't need any prior web building experience to build a very professional looking website. Having a website for your business or your portfolio, for your photography, video, or whatever creative work you make, is very important. You need to have a place to show off your work in the best way possible and have full control over that. And a website is the way you need to do this. Squarespace makes it all super simple to do so you can spend more time doing the things you love rather than scratching your head trying to figure out how to build a website. There's also amazing customer support and things like scheduling appointments with customers all can be built in. It's pretty awesome. So if you want to check out Squarespace and build yourself a new website today, you can use my code negative feedback or the link in the description to get 10% off your order. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you probably next week.